Hello everybody, I am Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy. And today our concept is uniform, uniform acceleration. So before we go to uniform acceleration, let us try to understand the concept of acceleration. So acceleration concept is very simple. It means change in velocity. That's all. Change in velocity. Change could be increase. Change could be decrease. So this is a fairly simple and this decrease has got given another name also sometimes. It's called retardation. So acceleration is change in velocity. That's all. That is the concept. But when you say change in velocity, let us say it goes from 20 meters per second to 30 meters per second in let us say 3 seconds. If you say this, then how did it go? There are other concepts here. It could have gone at 20 to 40 and then gone, come down to 22 and then gone to 20 and finally at this point it showed 30. You understand? So it is going from 20 to 40 let us say in half a second, then it comes down to 22 in another half second, another half second goes to 20 and like that it finally reaches 30 meters per second at that point of time, the instantaneous velocity in the beginning is 20 meters per second, at the end is 30 meters per second while you are calculating the acceleration. So here also if you notice, there are various numbers, you can say 20 and then you can say 40, 22, 20 and 30. So this is velocity, this is not displacement. So it is like you are going on a bike and you are seeing your speedometer while you are just observing. You observed your speedometer it was 20 and then after 2 seconds, after 1 second you saw it at 40, after 1 second you saw it at 22, after another 1 second you saw it at 20 and after 1 second you saw it at 30, let us say. Again here we cannot get any kind of equation. You cannot get a uniform kind of equation here. You have to give only numbers and you can say the acceleration, the acceleration was from here till here it was 40 minus 20, 20. From here it was come came down so minus, you know or you can say retardation was 22, 40 minus 22 and here the acceleration came down from 22 to 20 and here the acceleration again rose from 20 to 30. Here we do not get any, any equation. So this uh, acceleration is not uniform acceleration. It went up, down, up, down. So acceleration is a change in velocity. If the change in velocity is not constant, is not constant like here, then it is non-uniform acceleration non-uniform acceleration and there there is no physics or maths we have to go on giving actual numbers okay the trajectory is like that but in many situations of life there is a certain uniformity freely falling bodies for example the increase in velocity is constant when a body freely falls the increase in velocity is constant what is the meaning of increase is constant suppose your height is uh, um, 5 uh, feet and in one year you went from 5 feet to 5 feet 2 inches and in another year you went from 5 feet 2 to 5 feet 4, 5 feet 6, 5 feet 8 and 6 feet each year. You are increasing your height but the increase is obviously constant. Every year you are increasing by 2 inches. That is how simple the concept is. The increase in velocity, let us talk about only increase, increase in velocity is acceleration. If that is constant, then it is called uniform acceleration. That is all. So the increase in velocity at every second or every moment is constant. Now let us talk about increase in velocity is constant or change in velocity is constant. Let us see how it works out. So you have a uniform velocity. First of all, let's let's try to understand uniform change in velocity. That is uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration is uniform change in velocity. We'll talk about only increase first. So uniform acceleration is uniform constant change in velocity. 
So again, we'll put numbers. So at t is equal to zero, you are you are already going with the velocity of u, and then you have one second, one second, so on, t seconds, and finally the velocity was v. So the acceleration a would be equal to v minus u in t seconds. Obviously, change in velocity in t seconds. So every second it was increasing uniformly. I would also say that even between in one second, between this second, in this interval also, it was changing uniformly. In half a second also, if it, if you take half a second and you take a velocity here, 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 the change from here to here to here to here is the same. You get my point. Every moment it is changing its velocity uniformly. That is the concept. So in one second, it it changed. Change, change. It kept on increasing, and finally it came to v, and it was uniformly increasing. The change in velocity here, and the change in velocity from here to here, change in velocity from here to here, here to here, here, and so on till t seconds. T seconds <coughs> was v. It finally became v. So change in velocity is v minus u. The final velocity, as it is called, is v. The initial velocity, as it is called, is u. The change in velocity is v minus u in t seconds. So in one second, in t seconds. But we want acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. I said that rate of change of velocity. We know what is rate in one second. How much change? Rate means in one second. So uniform acceleration is rate of change of velocity in one second. Change in velocity is v minus u. In one second is t seconds v minus u. In one second it is t by t. I think we understood that. So we got the first equation of uniform acceleration. This is how it works. Again, I'm repeating: when the change is not uniform, there cannot be an equation. There will be 20, 22, 23, 24, 40, 35. You have to only give numbers in every second. But there are situations like freely falling body when the change in velocity is constant. So the change in velocity first it was u, then after one second it became increased, increase, increase till it reached v. The total change in velocity is v minus u in t seconds. And remember the amount of change u to this point. The the same change happens from this point to this point. The same change happens from this point to next uh, next uh, one second. The next one second the same change. It goes on increasing equally. There are equal in increases of velocity. The increase of velocity is the same. So this is also not a very difficult concept. We are talking about a real life situation where the velocity is changing every moment. And if we take it in one second, so one second it keeps on changing. Changes the total change is v minus u in t seconds. Final velocity minus initial velocity in t seconds. So in one second. So a change in velocity. In one second is obviously in one second is obviously v minus u by t. This is the first equation. It is called the first kinematic equation for uniform acceleration only. In the next lesson, we'll see how we have to get. Here we got the velocities, but can you get a displacement? Can I know? Okay, acceleration is a. Can I know the displacement from a to b? The s displacement. So we get the second kinematic equation. We have a third kinematic equation. These are the three core deep kinematic kinematic equations which are used throughout in mechanics for one-dimensional motion. But these are only for uniform acceleration. I think the concept is clear. Uniform acceleration is change in velocity, which is changing uniformly, constantly, every second, every moment. And if you want to have a Equation then the initial velocity will be u, final velocity will be v in t seconds. So the rate of change of velocity is actually the definition of acceleration. Acceleration is not change in velocity; it's the rate of change of velocity. That's also a very important concept. Rate means in one second. V minus u in t seconds is v minus u by t. That's it. So what are the, uh, the units for here? For this, this is units of velocity: meters per second, change in velocity per second. So it is meters per second per second. You can also say it like meters per second square. 
these are the units for or kilometers per hour square or feet per second square these are the units of acceleration okay that completes uniform acceleration first kinematic equation the next two kinematic equations we'll do it in the next lesson thank you this is narendra kumar from narendra academy